What's up? We're here at uh, Lewis Craig Elementary School. This is Graffiti Park. We're excited. We got a whole uh, highly effective habits thing going on on the inside. What else we got going on, Daniel? Uh, I don't know. Uh, current running total is 30 plus artists. Um, we've covered up all of the space that we said we would paint to this point now. And so, um, again, we're getting into kind of like uh, Robert Lunt, where we're in the situation where we're asking for more space to go out and paint as if we have more artists show up. We're out here in the back of the school. We got artists up and down the wall going to work. They've been here since 8, 9 a.m. this morning. Luckily, the sun's shining. Luckily, they got a little bit of shade going on here. Um, this back wall was kind of freestyle. They had their, their creative freedom to be able to kind of go with the Savannah jungle theme. And so we're excited for it with the turnout and what they got going on. Yeah. So this one, this wall right here is uh, nine artists so far. We still have a space left up on the end. Um, a couple of different ones, a couple of different artists here uh, have clothing brands. They have um, shops here in Vegas where they actually do their art full time. Um, so please check out all of their Instagrams. Give them a follow as they are what make Graffiti Park so special. All right, we got Eamon right here. He's working on one of our habit walls called Think Win Win. Eamon, talk to us a little bit about what, what you're working on here. Actually, I decided to do the Lion for the School because of the mascot. Uh, Graffiti Park asked me to do win, Think Win Win. So uh, I came up with the old school idea coming up with something simple for the kids to read and see. And I hope they enjoy it. What's up, dude? All right, Jonathan, what do you... Tell us a little bit about what you got going on here. What do you think? Be proactive, you know, it's a, it's a big model. Um, being proactive, you know, in life and in everything, in every area of your life, you know, because once you start to distract yourself and you get lost in negative habits, that it doesn't allow you to fully unleash yourself, your potential, you know. So being proactive in every area of life, in school, and business, and personal finance, and you know, and fitness, you know, that's what it's about, being proactive. So let's be proactive. Hello, my name is Lauren, and this is my second project here. Um, this is a chameleon. I wanted to make like a cartoony kind of vibe for the children here at the school. And yeah, I love this organization. I love connecting with other artists here. It's given me a great opportunity to branch out and meet other artists in the Las Vegas community. And it just feels so special to do something for these children and make their school a fun place. All right, guys, so we just finished up lunch. Daniel's mom stopped by. She dropped off a little bit of extra goodies for us there. We had some pizza. Everyone took a little bit of a break. We still got a good amount of artists out here finishing up these different habits. So we got over here my man, Syed over here is finishing first seek to understand, then to be understood. Uh, we're finishing up the first things first over here as well. Um, and as you can see behind me, and maybe not right now, but we got even Daniel's little brother Declan. He's thrown down on another mural. He's 12 years old, so we're excited about that. We got family and friends out today, kids out today, just enjoying the, the nicer weather. Clouds just came over, so we're appreciating that. We got a few more hours left on the day, so excited to check back in and see what everything's got going on. Hi, uh, my name's Connor Graves. This is my second time being out here with Graffiti Park and everyone's fantastic. Everyone's encouraging and walking by going, oh man, you're doing the coolest thing, you know? And it's so cool meeting like all these other local artists and artists from, you know, even different states are coming down to do this. So I'd say if you're an artist and you want to come down and donate your time and, you know, try it out and meet some great people, definitely come down and meet uh, meet everyone. Hi, uh, name's Steven Salas, um, painting this here, this tiger. Um, the theme for the school was a uh, jungle, so I thought I could paint this tiger. The school that we're currently at is Lewis Craig. Um, this is the second time I do this with Graffiti Park. I appreciate that they do this for us, uh, that they do this for the community and the kids. Um, I support it a lot. Pretty, pretty cool. I never thought I'd be doing this as an adult, working on schools, um, painting the schools, and I wish. I had something like this when I was a kid. I would have probably been even more inspired to, you know, draw and paint. 
as I do now. And um, yeah, I, I love it. It's, it's cool. It's a great experience. And Uh, my name is Berner. Um, I write Enoch. How I heard about Graffiti Park, I was just tagged in the post by some friends and uh, they told me that they were painting murals at different schools and it's actually the first time I've never done this before so it brought me out of my comfort zone uh, and my friends pushed me just to, just to do it so that's what I'm here and I just did it. So. My name is Juan Ochoa, also known as Latin Artist on Instagram and I've been painting with Graffiti Park for a few months now. I wasn't with them with their first project at Dreamer Lab, but I was with them at the YMCA. So I chose this frog because this frog just looks amazing. <laughs> I saw the picture on Pinterest and I got to put it on a wall. I was showing her some references and she really liked this one monkey. Um, well, you want to see what it's called? I think it's called a Tarsier, um, but he's been calling it a finger monkey. <laughs> 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 They're really yeah. cute. They have really big, big bulgy eyes and I wanted to give it a twist. I love bright, bold, beautiful colors, so I didn't want to paint it like the realistic colors, so I went with some blues and some purples to give it just like that colorful, almost kind of cartoon look, but realistic as well. So I think it's like a little twist and fun for the kids. So my painting is called Synergized. It's uh, based on one of the principles in Stephen Covey's book. It's one of the principles that the school goes by. It uh, means when things are greater as a culmination than they are as parts. Uh, what's up, my name is Torrent. Uh, I've been uh, graffiti park about three schools and I really like giving back to the kids and I mean I work at a school too so I, I really really get to you know see the kids firsthand and when they see stuff like this so um, I did some cereal stuff because growing up I ate a lot of cereal and I'm pretty sure kids love cereal and Tony the Tiger is you know pretty cool so. Hi my name is Declan Mogatz and this is my painting. My message is be positive on a sunset because if you're Positive, you can get through anything. Jesse, I go by Art of Mine. Um, I've been doing art for a couple years here in Las Vegas. It's allowed me to just explore not only my creativity but also myself and, and meeting other people in general, connecting, being a part of something much bigger than myself. Now for this mural, uh, well, the theme is the savanna, so I wanted to do something from the savanna, but the wasn't an animal because there were a lot of animals at school. I wanted to do like the Maasai Mara tribe, like a female from the Maasai Mara tribe, but like in a contemporary way with the sunglasses. And the idea is to write down like next to it, um, be authentic. And I wanted to paint something that is like authentic from Africa. So, you know, that's more or less the, the idea behind it. I was just showing my kids on the webcam because they're virtual but I was so stoked to show them this amazing, beautiful, inspirational work that you guys have done. I saw your work online, but honestly, it could have never prepared me for what you guys have done to our school. Totally transformed, thank you so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. My name's uh, Naldo, uh, or Z R Naldo, and uh, I've been helping, I've done two schools so far, and it's uh, been a pleasure working with them. It's a dream, basically, uh, why I wrote Dream on the Walk. <laughs> Well, my character's a cloud, so I did uh, lighter colors to do uh, do the theme. And uh, living dream, because we're here painting in elementary school. Who would have thought we would have been in here doing this type of stuff? It's uh, weird. It's, it fits. <laughs> One time, actually, helping Graffiti Park, uh, what inspired me to do this piece was actually going through a lot of hurt, trials, and tribulations. So I feel like love breaks the chains. So. I just wanted to display that and let the kids know that love breaks the chains. Hi, my name is Saeed. The first time I heard about Graffiti Park was through a good friend named Chewy. He forwarded me through it through Instagram. And I saw some pieces up and I thought I'd check it out. Uh, the quote is, seek first to understand, then to be understood. And I always wanted to do like an elephant because I've heard elephants have really great memory and they just seem like wise creatures. So I thought I'd do like an elephant and sort of my style and kind of do like a bit of like a gradient sunset. Hey what's up guys, I'm Eric. This is actually my third school I've done with Graffiti Park, so about two months now. What's up man, I'm Numskull. This is fifth? Fifth or sixth school? I don't know, I don't know anymore. I've been painting it since the beginning. 
It's fun. Uh, today, uh, what's inspired this is I hit him up and we were, it was Jungle theme. Jungle Book's always been like the number one like book and movie to me. It always inspired me as a kid, so that's why I did it. I want to inspire the youth, so. Yeah, no, but he, when, after he hit me up, he was like, let's do Jungle Book. I didn't, I didn't really have a plan to come down here because I was busy with like other stuff. And he hit me up and was like, let's do Jungle Book. And I was like, yeah, look, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, no, since, so that's where we're at now. And then I, I'm adding my little character in there into the mix. So yeah. seeing, seeing what the kids think of that. Pretty much I just sketched something out really quick this morning. I really enjoy and like love lions. I actually have like a tattoo of a lion right here. I love like what it represents, like courage and bravery. So decided to go with a lion since what's happening so far. Actually, I heard about Graffiti Park from Cassidy Forrester, who's painting over here. She was telling me about what a great um, business it was and trying to what the uh, mission of it is. So I got excited and thought this might be a win for Lois Craig. So far, it's been awesome. I love the creativity and I love just the artists being here and the energy that they've brought. And I'm just super excited for the children to be able to see it. What's up everyone, Jonathan Aspires here with Graffiti Park. Super excited to share with you guys what Graffiti Park is all about and who I am. I am the Chief Marketing Officer here at the Graffiti Parks, um, here to provide as much value to the community from all aspects, both the artist and uh, potential individual who's trying to hire an artist. We're here to provide as much value for you guys, a platform where you guys can grow and excel in your guys' career. Um, so make sure you guys contact us. If you're an artist looking to grow, reach out, um, we have a lot to offer. Uh, if you're somebody who loves the art that we provide, make sure you guys contact us as well. Uh, we have a lot we can bring to your community. And we're practically wrapping up, it feels like, for the day. Um, we've gotten all of our spaces covered. My younger brother just did his first piece of artwork that he's willing to put his name on, which is super exciting. Trippy Pidgey and Mario Del Barrio, their grand opening for their art studio is coming up May 28th. May 28th. May 28th. The Peak. Check it out. Um, we'll probably be doing um, some sort of gathering or something there with them. Um, otherwise, that's... Uh, pretty much the end of today. Uh, we've got a couple more spaces left, so um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And that's a wrap, dog. Put a bow on it. Put a bow on it. Dan, what are the totals? So we had 58 artists come out and knock out 34 different murals across three days. Tens of thousands of square footage of mural space. Uh, we had a blast. Yeah. Shout out Lolita's Tacos. Shout out Art Primo. Um, shout out a variety of our different sponsors. Check the links below. Uh, these shirts are now live on our website. Go check us out, graffitipark.org. And if you need any commissions or any sort of paint done, find us on there. Come and to a canvas near you, baby.